Hi, my name is Arun. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to take coding interview test which is recently conducted by Cognizant. So here is an example, like we need to calculate the average for each uh, of the mocks. Like he has given the two dimensional array, Bob 87, Mike 35, Bob 52, Jason 35, Mike 55, Jessica 99. So according to this, so we need to calculate average of the mocks and maximum average who is getting it, we need to find it out. So here is, two, Bob is repeated two times and Mike is repeated two times. So the average, so the first one um, plus and the second one divided by T. If it is three times repeated, divided by three. So according to this mathematical calculation, the whoever guessed get the maximum average so will be getting getting the output. Like Jessica is got the maximum average 99. So we are going to take the programming part now. I'm first I'm creating a student class so I'm defining constructor here and count The student class is complete somewhere. Uh, oh, it's not supposed to be. Uh, there is a yeah, constructor, so no white. Yep. So now the student class is ready. main class part so I'm de defining one uh, static method which calculates the maximum average mark So passing two dimensional array of the input.
So first, I'm defining a map so that um, I can pass string as string and student as one generic type to the map so that I want to make a um, string uh, uh, student name and marks relation so that the student marks I'll get it from the student object and string name from the string so this is the logic first I want to build a map and just see the or uh, repeat with the for loop uh, looping with the for loop all the marks and I'll also check the condition condition whether it is already been exist or else it's not exist the so that the uh, the repeat names will be one block and non repeat blocks in another if condition so I am looping with the for loop all the input and here the if condition which check um, whether this input has contains this uh, and the names the sorry the map contains the names or not if not is one set of block if contains because we need to find calculate the average if the if uh, if the names is repeated we need to calculate the average like how many people are there So first I'm checking with the well like mm, first name so because the first it don't, it don't go to the if condition it goes to the L condition because uh, it's a first name so it comes to the else block and check that and getting an, and uh, add the max from here. Yeah, I need to add the new here. This is a math function, you can use it to find out the maximum one. So, so max average. So, the second or uh, R1 is a uh, max, right? So, so first max, oh, we don't have a value max, yeah. We have to define the not as a locally, so we need to define it a little up. Uh, so uh, defining it's a minimum value zero.
now here this condition actual if condition like if this has the same name again to find out the average actual average so if the name found again so i'm getting the student first um zero is a name yeah I, so no is r0 yeah you have to change r0 as a name so it contains the name uh, yeah, and created student object here the same thing i'm pasting it here here i need to add because it has repeated so whatever the marks is already been set here student that marks plus we need to add here because the average. I have to calculate the average. So it's total now. So the existing plus and repeated one and also count also increases, right? So you need to add the count as well. So we have added the repeated mark, we have added the repeated count and check the name exists. It's only the name already exists. If it repeated three times, you need to add three, it will be counted three times. Now the maximum average. So we need to divide this total marks and divide it with the count. The L block, else block is not added because it's a single student and uh, if condition has group of students like repeated students so that's why we used uh, the extra one like average marks marks average here the same math function max average of max whichever is maximum it will take into the maximum so that max value will need to print So I'm running the program now. Oh, okay, so something wrong. Okay, we keep this out of for loop. And also has to be extra care for a mathematical calculation. So you need to put a bracket. And the 140 is also wrong, so just try to put a bracket now. So, so yeah, 99. So the maximum marks is 99. So that's the maximum, or that's the output we get it. Hope you understood the logic. And if you have any questions, please bring me so that I cannot able to answer you.
so running it here yes max max yes hope you like this video and uh, hope like you got it but in the actual scenario like uh, there is extra test scenarios they will be providing it you need to pass it but this code will pass it definitely so um, in the actual code uh, you will be giving a hacker code or some other tool which the test cases as we will running behind um, scenes so so that is all test cases has to pass so otherwise the report will not going to be generated and you will not be able to achieve the pass mark so the report has to be bug free and uh, everything will be hand runs perfectly so then only the code will come uh, code will run and run the report without any bugs without any uh, first. hope you like this video please like share